Okay. Hello, More. hello, David. Back, back on Friday, you voiced the sentiment that you were a little uncomfortable with being called a veteran out there. After today's performance, uh, I don't know if that should be the case anymore. <laughs> what a swell fourth place out here. How was your 18 today? Our 18 was on fire. I mean, it was so quick. You know, we, we definitely had some bumps along the way. You know, we were making some setup changes. The wind picked up. And, you know, with, with the way the tires were, we were having some close battles. Um, and so, you know, we, we kind of hurt the tires a little bit more sometimes and had a bit of oversteer. And, you know, the stint right before that last one, it was getting a little bit scary, but thankfully the yellow came out. It kind of saved us. And we managed to have a good running till the end. So thank you big, big time for Dale Coin Racing and HB Motorsports. Oh, man. How was the handling out there, out there on the track with all, with all these side-by-side uh, -side situations? It was changing, you know, every corner, every single move you make, the car changed immediately. I mean, you're going inside and outside of clean air and dirty air, so you had no idea what the car needed. You know, we have tools in the car. I mean, I felt like I was, I don't know, like playing a video game on a controller. I'm like, oh, now it's over steer, now it's under steer, now it's over steer. I'm just all over the place. So I was trying to make sure that we can get the absolute maximum. And, you know, I think with the tools that we have, we managed to get the best result we could. How about the weather? It was sunny yesterday and today a lot of overcast. How was how the change from yesterday to today? Yeah, like I said, you know, throughout the, the whole stint, our setup changed so much. And we were like, man, there's so much understeer. We need this car to turn it. We made all these changes. Then we made a big one. And all of a sudden we had a bit of overcast. Some wind came in and the whole setup flipped. So then it was kind of a race of survival on that stint. And it was 20 laps of... I mean, it was just hell. Like, like, you know, you're drifting at 200 miles an hour. I mean, I was, I was freaking out in the car. I'm not gonna lie. It's pretty stressful. And you know, you're seeing everybody else has the same issue. So, I'm trying my best to keep calm. I don't think I did a great job, but I'm gonna give myself an excuse. I'm still 21, so I still have to mature a little bit there. But all in all, we survived and managed to come out with the P4. How about the roller coaster emotions? You know, especially in those closing laps, your team was saying, "Oh, we made a mistake. We're sorry." And then you have that caution. You can kind of reset yourself, and then the so lead was right there. Okay, okay. <laughs> That's why you were right there. And then the lead was right there, right in front of you. So, like, what was that looking like for you? You know, it, I just wanted the yellow to end. You know, it's just yellow and yellow, and it's just your old mind's overthinking. You're trying to come up with all these different strategies. And by the time the green flag came, I think, you know, I felt like Dr. Strange. You know, I, I went, I had like 5,000 different versions of the way the start went. But once the green flag goes, I mean, you kind of. Forget about it and focus in the moment. And you know, things could have gone a bit better. You know, maybe could have went outside one time or the inside, and it could have gave us another spot or maybe fight, fight for the lead there. Um, but in the end, I mean, I'm really happy to be a P4 because it wasn't just fast people in the front. There's also fast in the behind. So we managed to come up with a good result. Is this P4 better than perhaps Gateway last year at the podium? I know it's one spot less, but 1.5 mile going into Indy. You know, it's uh, this one feels very special as well since you know it's another hardworking race but i wouldn't say it's better than gateway i mean gateway was definitely very cool it's also you know you're it's at night you're under the lights the camera's on you just feels very cool you know i have kanye west playing in my background you know the flashing light song so nothing's going to be gateway but this was this was pretty close you wish it was a night race i think it'd be very cool i mean imagine pack racing at night and i think with the new safety of, of the indy cars and the aero screen you know if it, if it evolves and increases the chance of more crashes i, I think the car is very safe look at the injuries we had, the crash and safety, and everybody came out perfectly fine. So. Thank you. Look like you're racing. Hi, this is Steven Stumpf. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Uh, check out the two videos beside me, and for more racing content, visit frontstretch.com.